Hey guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. Quick market update today to see what's going on across the board really. We've um, we've seen a horrific period again yesterday for, for Bitcoin, dumping quite a significant amount. If you look at this on the daily time frame, uh, yesterday we dumped from 30,700 all the way down to 28,600. I think Powell was speaking yesterday and dropped a bit of um, reality into the play again and the general macro outlook is, is still bleak. I mean, if we look at the SPX yesterday, Look at that candle, it was horrific. I really were looking for it to reclaim this uh, level of support back here, which was was here. And we did that. We did that on that day, which I said, look, we need to reclaim that. But then, um, obviously, Powell um, uh, nicely shipped the bed for us again and then brought us back down within to this range here. So let's see what happens. Potentially, we might come down to test this area at 3,855 um, points. So... Um, if we did come down there, ultimately it's going to bring Bitcoin with it as well. The dollar had a little bit of a rally yesterday. We dropped into this level of support here. Um, I mean, we dropped away down to 103.180 and we popped back up as the SPX um, and the NASDAQ did drop off in points. So it depends what goes on with the dollar really. I mean, if you look at this on the, the bigger time scheme, the, the, the weekly, we're actually above this level of um, resistance here. So it's setting the support up in it. I think really we need to lose that level for any um, positive Bitcoin price action. And and while the SPX is getting pulled down by the sheer amount of dollars that the US are pulling out of it, uh, the dollar is going to rise. So strong dollar, um, weak stock markets, weak economy, um, weak <laughs> inflation rates, because inflation in the UK is here 40 year high. Um, so there's a lot of bearish things going on. We'll, we've, we're talking about recession for a while. And while all this is happening, Bitcoin is, I know, it, it is dropping, but it is remaining fairly strong compared to viewers. I know we've had a significant drop from the highs. If we look at this price, from the high, we've actually dropped forty thousand dollars, which is quite significant, from sixty nine k all the way down to twenty nine k, um, where we're currently at now. It's a, it's a significant amount of that, and we actually dropped all the way down. Uh, is it wrong one moment? We dropped down. Um, a significant amount still from that 29k region so the bottom we've peaked out potentially is there at 26,700 if you look around this area around here all these wicks that have dropped down especially on the week, even on the daily time frame have been bought straight up so this current weekly candle does look bleak but i'm expecting that we do push up and hopefully get a closure um whether it's a green candle or not i, I want to see a closure within area up here so Pushing up towards 30k will be decent. I think there's a good chance that we do get eight weekly red candles in a row now. Um, again, six weeks was a record. So at some stage, we will have that relief bounce. Whether that's eight, nine, ten week red, um, red weekly candles, it will land at some stage. So for me, I'm quite heavily in stables, but also quite allocated to the market. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly risk on at a minute, and it is what it is. Personally, the way I see it, I'm a long-term investor. I obviously take profits on that way up. That's why I can do this full time. But for me, buying assets at these prices, especially on my altcoins, if we just take a look at, let's have a look at a random one, Ethereum, that's dropped a significant amount from the highs, all the way down 62%. If you look at Avatar, that's even been horrific itself. I mean, that's quite pretty much a low cap now, but that's dropped 86%. Some altcoins have dropped significant amounts. You're talking... Well, especially the metaverse and GameFi sector, they're dropping between 90 and 98%. And some of these assets are still building, and that just shows that low caps and, and the sectors that are new have really been hit hard on this on this um, bearish period. So for me, yes, the price can go lower. Yes, Bitcoin can dump. And yes, altcoins will drop lower if that does happen. But for me, personally, I think it's a buy time. I mean... As I say, I'm a long-term investor. As a long-term investor, you you must see the price in, well, you must accept the price in negative territory at some stage, whether that's a day or whether that's a year. For me, you're investing in something that you believe in after thorough fundamental research. That then gives you that ability to make your decision whether to, to trade or to not trade or to invest or not to invest. For me, I'm in the red on some assets, but I'm not interested in that. I'm looking at a long-term perspective. And anybody who's been in crypto since 2017 will tell you that patience really pays off. I bought some assets in 17, saw the moon, didn't take any profit and watch them come back down. 
this cycle I learned, I managed to take a substantial amount of profit, and that's what you lot will do next time. You're buying assets now, which you might see will drop down, but they will push back up in the long term. So for me, some of these assets on my right hand side are ones that I'm holding. I'm holding Dome, Hero, I'm not holding V Chain at the minute, I'm holding RSI, I've actually topped up on RSI recently. I'm holding Polkadot, I've topped up on that recently. Um, I've just bought some Vemp, that's a, if, you'll, if you follow me, I talk a lot about metaverse assets. I um, I was the first person to create a video on um, not ever done, Meta Hero, um, and ever since then I've been hooked into metaverse. I've bought some Block, that's metaverse. PYR, I know it's not metaverse, but it's a GameFi asset. It's another one that I'm looking to buy, so anything metaverse related. And if you want to tell me any metaverse assets that you're looking at, drop them in the comments and also take a look at them too. But yeah, Vemp's a new one I bought. That's one that pretty much um, encompasses a lot of assets at the same time, so you can stake and earn from all those assets that they buy. Um, so yeah, some assets are significantly down, but I am buying now. And if Bitcoin drops down to, to 20k like people keep talking about, or 23k, Altcoins will get thrashed, but that will be a period when I will be cons well, I will be consistently buying. I'm buying now. Uh, I'm not going too heavy at a minute, but I'm just starting to trickle orders in. I bought some RSI the other day at I think it might have been about 0 0.47. We dumped. Um, it is what it is, but I'm just buying. I'm just buying all the way down, and at some stage we will bounce, and that patience will pay off. But jumping back to Bitcoin, um, drop down to the four hour time frame. Bit of a potential um, hopium setup here. Back in January, we had that uh, that dump, didn't we? Uh, and then we had that rising wedge, deviation, and then we popped to the upside. There's the same similar pattern going on here. We're starting to get this rising wedge. I've highlighted this circle here as a potential deviation. May not happen. It might just be the continued downtrend and we're pushing down. I wouldn't ever really look at this pattern too much, like I say, it's just a little bit of hopium, and if we do follow what happened back in um, um, January, then we may get a break to the upside and a potential rally. I mean, from that rally there, after we had that deviation, the, the market pushed up 26%. If we got anything similar to that, you're talking from there to 25%, you're talking probably just above this level of resistance, which I marked up, um, and if you watch my videos, I've always talked about this level of resistance, 34 to 35k. It's a strong area where we're bouncing the past. Even if you look back into January when we did bounce, it was an area um, that we did bounce. So potentially, if the same plays out as last time, you could get a rise up here. And if that did happen, some altcoins would rally. One thing I'm monitoring as well, though, is the Bitcoin dominance chart, which is still fairly low. It's actually starting to rise up now, which is good. I put a tweet out a few months, well, probably about two, three weeks ago. I said, look, Bitcoin really needs to start reclaiming some dominance. When this starts to push up, I'm expecting a, a rise up to around 52%, which is a, a, a tough level of resistance and support, which has happened in the past. I think we will get up there. You'll start to see altcoins drop, but in the Satoshi pairs, that's when you'll start to see them bleed. Bitcoin will rise. With that, some dollar pairs will start to push up, but they will get to a point, you could call it a pivot point, where they'll get to a certain area and they'll just stop moving, but they will follow Bitcoin up. If Bitcoin does start to push up and regain dominance, altcoins will start to steadily, steadily move up. You won't see anything massive, but just monitor the BTC pairs. If you look to the right hand side here, I've got the ETH BTC pair, uh, the US, the BTC pair for VChain, for DOT. I'll just monitor those pairs, and if I've got some BTC on my side, if they do hit some real crazy lows, I'll be buying with Bitcoin. So keep your eyes on that, something to monitor. If Bitcoin does break up to upside in 35k and, and, and breaks up hard, you're going to see a, a reclaim of some dominance, hopefully, and that will then get the market back into a little bit of a generic swing that's um, historically happened. But that's it. That's my thoughts on the market. Um, a different video today, just some general thoughts on the market, what I'm looking at doing, what I think could potentially happen, and who knows? Fingers crossed we might get a rise soon.